There is a brand new large language model that finally claims to be GPT-40. It's called Claude 3.5 Sonnet. It's available right now and is completely free to use. So Claude, their best model up to this point was Claude 3 Opus, which required a paid subscription. So with this new model, it beats Claude 3 Opus, it beats GPT-40 and is free to use on the cloud websites. So it looks like they did the exact same thing as ChatGPT. GPT had GPT-4, it required a monthly subscription. They released 4.0, which was better and it was free. Now they have the same exact limitation. Why would you pay for a subscription to Claude? Well, it gives you five times more access to Claude 3.5 sonnets. Let me show you some of the new options they have. They actually have a whole new thing called Artifact that's really cool. And I'll link this page in the description below this video. And I've been using it for a couple of hours. And so far, I'm very impressed with some of the early testings that I've done with this new model. So if you're not too familiar with Claude, so they have Claude 3 and it has three different models that you could choose. This one that was their best model, Claude 3 Opus, required a paid subscription. And now it looks like with Claude 3.5 Sonnet, they moved up to a whole different level and they are going to release 3.5 Opus and Haiku later this year. So the very first noticeable thing if you use this new model is it's twice the speed of the previous model. That was the paid model, Claude 3 Opus. This new model is twice as fast. And here's the standardized benchmark that they released. So 3.5 is here, GPT-40 is here. And in just about every single one, except this undergraduate level knowledge, it's pretty much equal here. And right here in math and problem solving is still far behind, about 5% behind. And you can see Opus was way, way behind GPT-40 in that case. And it looks like in just about every category, this is now the leading large language model available. Now, they also say state-of-the-art vision. They claim their vision capability beats everything, including Opus, including GPT. If you ever used Opus before, it was really, really good at analyzing any type of images, any type of graphs. That was one of the main reasons why I used Claude 3 Opus and I had a subscription to Claude. And they showed a little preview here on their website where they basically gave it a couple of different charts. They asked it to transcribe the data into kind of JSON format, this kind of code format. And then they asked it to then use that to structure a presentation into charts. They uploaded a color palette for it. And he ended up creating this entire presentation, including all the data they got from those images. And they also, again, released a benchmark against the top three models available right now. And it looks like, again, it's winning, except in visual question answering, GPT-40 is still winning there, but everything else is beating all the previous models. And they released this thing called Artifacts, which is really, really interesting, especially if you do any kind of coding or any kind of design, this is gonna be very useful. I've already tried this, so I could show you here on my account. But basically you just turn this on. This is an experimental model they have. And then you ask it to create something for you. And typically it would give you some kind of code previously. And that's all you had. You had to save that code. But now it will give you a visual representation of that code. So I tested this out and it works really, really well. Okay, let's take this for a quick test drive on the Claude website. So this is Claude.ai. If you don't have an account, create a free one. This is free to use. I'm gonna upload an image here. So when you analyze images inside a Claude, it's limited to five and each has to be 10 megabytes. So this is far more limited than when you get out of ChatGPT 4.0. So keep that in mind. So I uploaded an image here. This is just a design I have that I wanna turn into HTML and CSS code for my website. And it says it's gonna use Claude 3. 0.5 Sonnet. Now you see right here, it says one experimental feature enabled. So I'm gonna show you how to turn this on in a second. Let me go ahead and send this out. Okay, let me just show you kind of the speed where this is working. So I'm not gonna edit here. It writes the code on this side. This is that new artifact option that shows up on the right side here. And let me just let this finish up in real time. And it shows you this nice preview. So you have the code and then you have the preview of the code, the rendering of the code from this image. Now, I've tested this out. I've been trying to do this with GPT-4, with uh, Gemini, with a bunch of different models, and none of them were able to even come this close. This is quite still not where I want it to be. This is missing the border. The alignment's not quite right, but it's getting a lot, lot better than what it was before. And this is just my first prompt. So I could revise it, tell it to create a border here. And if you look down here, it says subscribe for five times more usage. 
So if I click over here just to show you, these are the different things you end up getting if you upgrade to the paid subscription of Claude. So you get you have five times more usage versus the free plan, but the free plan does have that best model available. You still get access to the other models that require the paid subscription like Claude 3 Opus, but in this case, I don't know why you would want that anymore since we have this model. And it says you get access to new features, although this artifacts, I have it for my free accounts. I haven't paid actually this month. I canceled last month, but it looks like I have to renew again. Now to turn on that option, if you press your profile picture right here, there's going to be an option right here under feature preview. And this is going to let you look at this artifacts option and you could go ahead and turn it on. And basically what this does is any type of code snippets, any type of website design, it will actually show you on the right side what it looks like. Now this time I asked it to create a game of tic-tac-toe. And again, it writes the code first and then it immediately switches to this preview window where it shows you the output of the code. So let me see if this works fine and... There we go, X wins, reset game. Okay, so it works pretty well on that very first try. Now I tried to do a bit of a more complex game using a game of snake here in Python and it was not able to display that. So this one, you still have to do the old fashioned way of testing the code somewhere else. Now, as far as context window, basically your input and output using these large language models. Again, Claude's always been the leader. So in the case of this new model, we have a 200K context window. And if you're building an AI powered app, this is also available through the API that they have. So if you're using Opus right now to power your app, you can now use this better model and it's five times cheaper. So it's twice as fast, five times cheaper. Now, let me see how it does in summarizing text and the kind of tone that it takes. So I'm gonna copy the entire text from this web page. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna say summarize this. I'm not gonna give it any type of context. I'm gonna paste that here. And in this case, it chose a numbered list here to summarize it in a number list. It did a really good job. I read through it and all the information was correct here. And I'm gonna ask it to turn it into an email. And it looks like it used a new formatting here to write it on the right side. And I could copy it down here. And as I read through it, the tone is nice. The formatting is nice. The structure of the email looks really good. And it says I only have two messages left already. So I've used it maybe 10 times. What I've used it in this email and a few other times I used it before. So this just came out a few hours ago and I'm already out of credits. So as you could see, they've made this so limited. This is the same thing that's happening with GPT 4.0 where the subscription still makes sense. So it's almost like giving you a little taste of what you get and then you have to subscribe. So I'll go ahead and subscribe and then I wanna make a head to head video comparing GPT 4.0 versus Claude 3.5 Sonnet to see right now, which is the best model for practical applications. I just wanna walk you through my 10 most practical applications that I use these type of AI models for every single day. So I'll post that next. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you then.